So here are these logical switches um, in action. If I hit my logical switches page, you get a list of your logical switches and each main switch position gets controlled by a bank of four um, logical switches inside the radio. So for six switches, I've got 24 um, of these lines. And if I put my stick into the corner and push air break on the button, I've now got air brakes for my DLG flaps down. Uh, if I put the stick in the bottom left right corner, DLG mode. I have now got uh, launch modes for DLG and the top left corner. Flight mode on. I've got flight modes, and so essentially that's all I need to run a DLG. And then if I want to um, go slope soaring, I can quit out of there. So hold the other switch down for five seconds. Reset. Everything is reset. Um, and if I want to go slope soaring, I can go, what do I need? I don't need, oh, I might want my... I might want my brakes. Uh, Air brake on. And I don't really need flight modes, but I want rates because of the wind conditions. Slope soar mode. And that's it. I might go sloping. So that means that none of the switches that would be used for flight modes, for example, would be would be functional. It's quite a good system. So I've just come down off the slope, and I thought, actually, I, I want to run my program with a motor. So I can motor armed. I can put the motor into play. So that's basically a, a safety switch to run the motor, and then the 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 um, controller will now run all those options. So step one done.